Uh, I want to apologize for uh, keeping you folks waiting. I had to unexpectedly go and uh, jumpstart a car. Um, during, <laughs> during that one, filling out my room, but uh, all's well that uh, ended well. So um, we're in we're in good shape now. Um, we're going to be going on to a bit of material in just a moment, but uh, since we are on the topic of Twitter, I thought um, I would. Uh, uh, just uh, do a little demonstration of a system that we have uh, coming on right now for displaying um, uh, health-related uh, tweets in a geographic context. Um, this is actually a demo of, of the system. The full database is, is not used uh, for this particular one, but it's created by a student of mine, Iman Jamali, who is, uh, who is involved in a number of uh, computational uh, projects for us, including a Healthy Pregnancy app and and uh, a uh, more generic sort of uh, health health related uh, uh, app for uh, supporting individuals with conditions. So um, this is a system that allows you to search um, uh, t uh, tweet occurrence uh, within uh, Alberta um, and where possible attribute uh, tweets to particular sub areas of Alberta. This makes use of a sub this particular demo makes use of a subset of a database, and you can search for particular terms and find keywords that are associated with with these terms um, uh, in the tweets that that mention them. Uh, this, for example, is with uh, cannabis, uh, and here you'll find uh, various uh, words, certainly for cannabis itself, but also mentioning medical and and uh, pill and taxes, etc. Um, this is a bit of a word cloud uh, done in a simple fashion. I'll do a few more um, searches and you'll kind of get the idea. Um, so for example, I'll look uh, at uh, gun, for example. Um, in the Canadian context, this will give rather different results, I expect, than, than it would south of the border. Um, uh, but Basically, it's going to be going against the databases, the database, and finding uh, finding tweets which which mention this term, and then plotting them. And so here, you can see a certain region of Alberta seems to be highly represented. I'm, I'm not sure what the significance of that. Um, uh, guns are not a, a topic that seems as widely uh, talked about as as some other things, um, and. Uh, some, some are mentioning particular types of guns, like a, a, shot, uh, a shotgun. Um, but you notice it's also, this is just searching for the word gun, so it picks up the gun. Uh, and, and, uh, in addition, gonna, um, you know, I'm gonna do this. But, um, but there are uh, guns uh, in there scattered, uh, scattered amongst there. There's, you know, some uh, occasional reference. Um, uh, perhaps guns coming up, particularly from south of the border, um, an invasion. Um, I will mention, um, for example, uh, fentanyl, um, uh, and you'll you'll find various uh, words associated with that. Now, the fact that it hasn't highlighted areas means it's not able to attribute it to a particular sub area of Alberta. Um, and so it, it just depicts it as sort of as, as lying throughout the entire, entire province. This is also associated with things like cocaine, RCMP, charges, mount, et cetera, uh, dealers um, as terms. I'll mention, uh, I'll mention uh, police, for example. Um, let's say uh, police here. And you can see sort of what terms, when it comes to Twitter mentions of police, tend to be associated with um, which mentions uh, of police and and where they uh, where they occur. Um, okay, pedestrian, Edmonton, um, offender, uh, frantic, uh, Calgary, uh, various policemen, uh, etc. Um, it's interesting because some of these terms do lead to quite some specificity. Um, I'll mention a very generic term like uh, like sick, um, which I, I understand that the youthful generation sometimes uses in a positive way. Um, to me, that something is very good. 
Someone told me to tell my wife that she makes a sick sandwich. <laughs> I elected not to do it. <laughs> you, 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 can, you can find uh, a variety of references throughout Alberta to, uh, to sickness, including in the context of, of Meta Centers, um, Meta, uh, Meta Center, uh, which I guess is a walk in clinic, perhaps. Um, uh, uh, on the other hand, there's also mentions of sickest, uh, et cetera. So this is, uh, this is an early version of a system we're hoping to, to have in real time that will show for various health-related tweets, but validated tweets using the algorithm that Yuan suggested. The idea is to have a stream of tweets coming in, use these uh, pre-tested, validated algorithms uh, for particular areas, maybe for pertussis, where you might include whooping cough as well as pertussis, as well as other plausible mentions of it, and for a given a given type of uh, a type of topic, you could find uh, you know the the distribution of tweets mentioning that throughout, and how many have fallen into certain intervals. View it as a as a time series, but also view it as a uh, from a geographic uh, perspective. And view the associated words um, associated with those uh, with those validated tweets. Andrew, does, does Trump show up in there? Try, try, Trump. I haven't been sick enough to try that, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll 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 give it a a try. Um, we'll, we'll see what <laughs> see what comes of it. United States um, president. Uh, some of these tweets are from over the border. There's a variety of, of horns. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he has someone who toots his own horn. <laughs> uh, Yeah, that's a Trump hat. <laughs> okay, this is um, crazy, <laughs> difficult, um, fun, um, uh, ready, performs, um, bounce, uh, beats me. Um, <laughs> that's not a validated. Uh, a sequence of, of tweets about that. And so you can see some of the, the limitations right now, but the, uh, the hope is over time to have this really hitched up to validated uh, streams, which we can use to gain insight into certain regions, their, um, their mentions, serious mentions of tweets, whether it's about serious mentions of suicidal ideation or, or serious mentions of influenza or pertussis or attitudes with respect to vaccination, uh, et cetera. Just a, a little bit of a side note, but um, something coming down by the pike. So the next time we offer this boot camp, probably in another year, we'll probably have a lot more, a um, lot more to show along those lines. Okay. Um, so what I wanted to.